It is a health alert right now. Imagine waking up and you can't hear anything. This is called sudden sensor neural hearing loss or sudden deafness. It can actually trigger at any time and without warning. And joining us this morning to talk more about it is Aftab Patney. He's an I'm a otolaryngologist. Thank you. I told him I was going to make him say it because I said it's too hard for me to say with Florida Hospital. Thank you so much for being with us this yeah, morning. Thank you for having me. Otherwise known as an ear, nose, and throat. Correct. Right. That's much easier for me to say. <laughs> so when we hear about something mm -hmm. like this, sudden hearing loss, sure. it is a little bit startling. How often does something like this happen? Um, it occurs in about one out of uh, 10,000 patients in a year. So if you're looking at an area like Central Florida, we're looking at maybe 100, 200 people. But you know, in the U.S., we're looking at anywhere from four. 4,000 to 25,000 people this occurs in every year. And what kind of, is there, we talked about sure. what happening sometimes without sudden warning. Are there any symptoms or anything you should be sure. looking for coming up to this? Unfortunately, most people kind of wake up within in the morning and all of a sudden they can't hear. So their prominent symptom is a fullness or pressure in the ear. Things feel not right. They can get a loud ringing or tinnitus in the ear. Mm -hmm. Some people even feel dizzy or off balance or have vertigo as part of it. And the level of hearing loss can vary. It can be a mild loss or it can be total deafness in the ear and it's just like that sudden and for most patients it's there's not a specific etiology we can identify most people think it's from a virus that got into the inner ear okay. and caused the damage but it could also be from trauma perhaps Correct. a loud sound explosion anything like sure. that there's lots of causes okay. uh, the most uh, you know the, the most common is idiopathic or known but you know you could have simple things like wax in the ear fluid in the ear that's not really sudden sense of neural hearing loss, that's other causes of sudden losses. Are there age groups that tend to see this more than others? Sure, the most common age group is in the 50s, um, but it can occur in childhood or adults. There's not a sex uh, variation, so males and females get it equally. All right, and what about treatment? Is this fixable? Yes and no. It's, it's a type of nerve damage that occurs in your inner ear. So um, steroids are the primary treatment currently. Okay. Um, that can be given orally or even actually a shot in the ear. Okay, interesting. Well, mm -hmm. let's hope it doesn't happen to us, but you're the guy to go to if it sure. does. Thank you so much. We really appreciate well, you coming you in me. and shedding some light on a very interesting sort of scary topic. Dr. Aftab, that's right? Aftab? Yeah, Aftab. Thank yes. you very much. So much. Not so nice to meet you. Thank let's you find out how me. things are looking for you weather-wise.